Hello everyone, welcome to Bike Wale. I'm Pratik and today as you can see we are finally riding the brand new ESD Adventure. This motorcycle is basically ESD's uh, top of the line model. Uh, it's the most expensive ESD motorcycle you can buy in India. It costs about 2.48 lakh rupees on the road Mumbai and it directly rivals the Royal Wheel Himalayan which is around 20,000 more expensive than the ESD Adventure. But we are not going to compare both these bikes today. Today it's all about the new ESD Adventure and we tell you five things that you must know about this motorcycle. But before we proceed, please like and share this video and also subscribe to Bikewale. And if you're one of those who want to consume the video content the moment we publish it on our YouTube channel, then please hit the bell notification icon as well. So now the first thing you should know about the brand new ESD Adventure, you know, uh, you should be knowing how easy it is to live with this bike. And be because it's an adventure motorcycle, we tend to go off-road a lot, we ride a lot of trails and we kind of end up falling or, you know, crashing out. So it's important to know if you crash out or if you drop the motorcycle, what, you know, does it really damage a lot of parts on the bike? So to dem demonstrate that, I'm just going to drop the bike. Actually, I'm not going to drop the bike. I mean, it's a brand new motorcycle. Um, and there are a lot of other guys in line to ride this bike. So I'm just going to assist in such a way that I'll just put it on the ground. So now that the bike is on the ground, uh, let's try lifting it up and figure out if whether it's really easy or you know difficult to uh, pick up the motorcycle. So to be very honest, uh, not too easy and uh, it was also not too difficult to pick up the motorcycle. Uh, with the right uh, technique, it will become very easy uh, to pick up the ESD uh, Adventure bike. And now let's check out if there are any scratches on the you know, motorcycle. I can see some minor scratches on the mirror, uh, little scratches on the handguard. And uh, that's all. Uh, I don't think so. so I don't think so you're going to you know, uh, damage a lot of parts. Obviously, we didn't uh, do it on a very high speed or you know, maybe 10-15 km per hour. But uh, stationary, at least when the bike is stationary, it doesn't damage a lot of parts. But yeah, when we get the motorcycle on test, uh, we might try doing some more uh, you know, drop test with the new ESD Adventure. Okay, now finally, let's uh, figure out how easy it is to you know, move the motorcycle because uh, in most of the metros, we always have tight parking issues. So it's a little difficult to get in and get out. So, this exercise will demonstrate if it's really easy to move the motorcycle or it's not. So let's just do it. So to be very honest, uh, it was quite comfortable to move the motorcycle around because, you know, uh, and you also have to consider the fact that we are in an off-road patch, we are not in a very even surface. And I, I think the ESD Adventure uh, behaved that much, I think because the overall weight distribution is quite neat. Uh, it doesn't feel uh, top heavy at all. And uh, so I think uh, in urban condition, if you're living in a very crowded city like Mumbai or, you know, Pune, uh, and where you have tight parking spaces, I think it's quite easy to you know bring the motorcycle out and uh, keep, you know put it inside the parking lot i think it's quite easy to do it so the folks at ESD have managed to design an adventure in such a way that it looks rugged a bit intimidating and also showcases good road presence there are some design lines that look quite familiar to the Himalayan, but the ESD showcases in a much softer way. Like all the other adventure bikes, there's also a front beak on the adventure. Then there's also this large fuel tank that gets some sharp design lines. The presence of large windscreen, handguards, and a mandatory optional metal frame at the front gives a lot of mass to the motorcycle. Now as you move closer to the seat, you will notice it has thick cushioning and I believe this has been done to provide better comfort while riding long distance. Other aspects like the dual purpose tyres, upswept exhaust and four gators completes the adventure bike loop. And at the back, 
there's a tail rack that can hold some luggage. But in case there's a need to put more luggage, there's an option to install saddle stays. The other thing I liked about the bike is the kind of LED lights they have used. The turn indicators as well as the tail light are round. The setup may not look good in pictures, but as you see the bike in person, you start liking it just the way I did. The AC Adventure gets its power from a 334cc single-cylinder liquid-cooled engine. This motor makes around 29.8 bhp at 8000 rpm and 29.9 newton meters of peak torque at 6500 rpm. But does it do any good off-road? Well, the answer is yes. Firstly, the motor has good amount of torque at the low end and that is what is needed if you're going off-road. The off-road track that we rode had a mix of slow, moderate and in high speed sections. The AZ managed to take most of these sections pretty well. In fact, the bike feels at home at low speed sections and to be honest, I was quite surprised with the way the motorcycle performed. The motor offers good refinement, but as we were limited to just off-road section, we won't be able to tell how it performed on the road, but we will get that to you very soon. The Easy Adventure comes with 220mm of ground clearance, which is kind of segment standard. The long travel suspension at the front too isn't segment best. So let's just jump it and find out if the bike can do this all day long. The folks at ESD have given it an off-road ABS. That means the safety equipment stays on on the front wheel but switches off at the rear. And that means you can do this, this and also this. But honestly, the ESD feels comfortable and at home when it goes off-road. The combination of good stand-up ergonomics, 21-inch front wheel and decent low-end torque makes the bike go over practically everything. The weight too is nicely distributed. There's no torque heaviness, an aspect that comes with a few other ADVs. And while I did do a planned drop test, there was an instance when I went a little over at the media ride and then this happened. And as you can see, you would still need more than one person to get the bike up and running. But that's a story for every other adventure motorcycle. Adventure Motorcycles gives you a lot of freedom when it comes to traveling and exploring new places. But in order to do that, you might have to go off the grid for a few days. And that's why you will see some hard panniers and top boxes on the ESD Adventure. These are the accessories that will be sold through dealers and at a price. There's also headlamp grill, touring tail rack and aux lamps that can be installed on the ESD Adventure. Interestingly, every customer would have to purchase a front frame at the time of the purchase. They call it the mandatory accessory and it would cost anywhere between Rs 4,000 and 5,000. So we have finally ridden the ESD adventure, we waited so long to ride this motorcycle but unfortunately we rode it only for an hour and only off-road but at least we rode it. So uh, the impressions that we're going to give you is purely based on our off-road um, experience and uh, I have to tell you this, the ESD adventure is a fun motorcycle to have. It's a great motorcycle to ride off-road and I really enjoyed every bit of it. Uh, in the beginning, I mean, I, I was not really enjoying it. Then I had to reduce the tire pressure in the front tire and that changed the whole game. The adventure is very capable. Uh, the engine, the 21 inch wheel, uh, the front wheel and uh, the combination of all these things have made the adventure a really capable motorcycle to ride off-road. Uh, the other aspect that I really like about this Yazi is, uh, you know, the overall weight distribution. It doesn't feel top heavy. It's easy to do full lock turns. You don't really have to uh, you know, move your body weight a lot. I mean, you have to when you're doing fast dirt riding uh, in, in, in closed circuit, but uh, uh, when you're riding slow, you really don't have, and whether you want to take full lock turns in slow speed conditions, you don't have to worry about it. The overall uh, weight distribution of the bike is really good, and I think the SD Adventure, the new SD Adventure, can take on the Royal Field Himalayan easily, but we will tell you the exhaustive review about this motorcycle when we get the bike for a longer duration back in Bombay. So stay tuned and thank you so much for watching.